surprising absolutely no one who hasn't been living under a rock for the past few decades, one of the foremost problems plaguing today's society consists in reducing the effect of the accumulation of greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere, namely carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and methane, while meeting the ever-increasing energetic demands of a rapidly shifting world. Thus far, most solutions have been built upon the direct use of renewable energy sources, whilst bypassing traditional fossil fuels, which are the overwhelming culprits behind this issue, due to the extreme difficulty in dissociating CO2 molecules through traditional conventional methods, such as catalytic conversion or biochemical processes. In spite of this, the rise in greenhouse gases progresses unabated, leading to potentially reversible damage as soon as 2036, less than 20 years from now. Luckily, a new solution has emerged, plasmas. Despite being the ugly duckling of the states of matter, plasmas make up over 99% of the universe's visible matter, from neon signs and fluorescent lights to lightning bolts, stars and even interstellar nebulae. A plasma is essentially a gas whose components are not neutral particles, but rather electrically charged ones, and can therefore be created, for instance, by ionizing a gas through an electrical discharge. Due to their unique properties, plasmas enjoy a wide array of applications, ranging from cancer treatment to spaceship jet propulsion. Amongst these is the dissociation of molecules. Unlike traditional means of CO2 dissociation, plasmas exhibit great conversion rates, as well as near-zero emissions. Not only that, but possible end products for plasma processes include syngas, methanol and other value-added chemicals, whose chemical bonds are an extremely advantageous way of storing energy for later use. Finally, and most crucially, by using low-temperature plasmas, or LTPs, the energetic efficiency skyrockets by avoiding unnecessary spending of energy in heating up the plasma, which could make this a viable industrial-scale process, especially by using renewable energy sources to power the plasma. Nevertheless, an issue remains. Currently, pure CO2 plasmas are not efficient enough to allow further large-scale implementations, and so we arrive at the crux of the matter. In my thesis, I propose to explore the possibilities of using LTPs to promote CO2 dissociation by focusing on CO2-CH4 mixtures and ascertaining the influence of adding CH4 to the plasma composition. It is expected that, due to the interaction between CO2 and the easily dissociated CH4, the energetic efficiency and dissociation rates will both increase beyond previous limitations by a significant amount. Which would be an incredible achievement, since not only is CH4 also a greenhouse gas whose concentration would be diminished, it might also make the whole process viable at an industrial scale. To do this, we aim to study both steady-state and pulsed DC glow discharge plasmas at low pressure conditions. While not the most energetically efficient, these types of plasmas exhibit a number of properties such as homogeneity and easy diagnosis through a vast array of procedures, which allow for an insightful probing of the complex chemical processes involved, making them ideal for a deeper understanding of the underlying phenomena. Experimental measurements carried out at the Laboratoire de Physique des Plasmas at École Polytechnique in Paris will provide the electric field, the time-dependent concentrations of the various species, and the temperatures of the various vibrational modes of CO2. At the same time, a zero-dimension kinetic model will be developed that will allow us to determine a system of rate balance equations, accounting for the creation and the loss of the electronically and rho vibrationally excited states of the various molecules radicals and ions. By comparing the measurements with the model, we hope to discern and clarify the influence of CH4 and the exact mechanisms behind its influence upon the CO2 dissociation, paving the way for a cleaner and sustainable future. In a nutshell, through our understanding of the non-equilibrium properties of CO2-CH4 plasmas, we will allow energy to be channeled towards CO2 molecular dissociation, rather than gas heating, converting both these gases into value-added chemicals in an efficient manner allowing for the storage of renewable energy and enabling the creation of green, eco-friendly fuels. You will be able to save the planet and keep your car at the same time. This work will be developed under the supervision of Professors Vasco Guerra from IST and Olivier Guaitela from LPP.